Leadership, Fixing Nigerian Sham Politics and Quasi-Democracy In light of the recent happening in the Nigerian political arena, the presidential race has been seen as a gateway to personal enrichment or cabal supremacy as opposed to repairing the failing system. Issues like poor educational systems, deterring security, poor health care and the rise in mortality rates in the nation is being treated as secondary. And satisfying selfish political ambitions is placed above human and national development. In situations like this, it is obvious that Nigerian democracy is quasi and upturned to the extent that the people which makes up the government do not count. A position as Herculean as the presidential seat is no small feat. Thus, needs a personality with a scalable and realistic agenda to fill. Issues concerning a state involves high-level thought, progress, policies, workable and democratic structures, and above all, a leader ready to bear the aforementioned as their obligation. What Nigeria needs at this critical stage of our existence is a leader who is capable of dragging it out of the dungeons of her current existence to a place where it can sustain herself and implement her national and foreign policies as key players on the world stage. Political parties should not be carried away by the over-monetizing of seals of forms for political aspirants. Rather, emphasis should be made on seeking aspirants who can understand and promote their values and ideologies for all-run national development based on their respective antecedents or past achievements, including professional and social credentials. Because not everyone can and should be presidential or even a political aspirant. Regardless of the several politicking heralding the forthcoming 2023 general election, the following are some of the issues that should be paramount and not to be seen as a common manifesto, but as a responsibility. Tackling insecurity, addressing inflation, investing in the educational system, revamping the healthcare system, encouraging foreign investments, supporting local small and medium scale enterprise with good policies, enhancing transportation system and food security. These aforementioned issues are non-partisan and affect everyone regardless of their parochial or political identities. Thus, the end point of any political process should prefer sustainable solution to them. In conclusion, as political parties prepare for their primaries and the nation waits in anticipation, let us meditate on this word of John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the 34th US president. The ignorance of one voter in a democracy impairs the security of all. Here we are again. <laughs> So, we've said so much about uh, over monetization of uh, sales of form and values and uh, what we should expect political processes in this 2023, forthcoming 2023 general election. This week we will determine the flag bearers of boots, or political parties will determine the flag bearers. So, what does the future hold for Nigerians? Yes, I, I, you know, for me, I think the 2023 is not different from any other election we had in Nigeria. So what we need to do is to, we, we still have the old people, the old set of people, the same, the same people. You know, we need, I don't know, there was a time uh, somebody was talking about um, bringing in young, a young person, and even today we see that the youths are not even ready to support that young person. Like Mr. Tolu mentioned that Nigerians were not ready. We're not ready because the same, same people, the same old people, the same old policies, and it's just like a, a recycle of the same old leaders we had. So that's my opinion. We're not ready. That's what we keep hearing. We're not ready. I think um, what you mentioned um, about the fact that um, this issues, insecurity, um, inflation, um, education, healthcare, these are not supposed to just be um, become a political mantra for politicians. These are real issues we are faced with. Um, it's not in those days when you come out and say um, 
part of your campaign, um, words are, oh, I'm going to provide you with good roads. Mm. I mean, or provide you with um, education just for just so that people will. These are real issues that we're faced with. Um, on the back of that, it's important that um, as we begin to question the um, aspirants, we need to drill, drill down, ask them real questions on, on how they'll be able to address these issues that are facing us. Because it's not just one Nigerian that is facing it, or it's just a selected few. There was a time it used to be just a selected few. But now it has extended beyond the selected few. It's across the nation. Everyone can, one way or the other, um, at least have heard or, have, or either have heard or either, either is a victim or has known a victim or has a victim in his family that, ha that has faced one or more of these issues. So these are real issues that we're faced with as Nigeria. And these are the questions that we need to begin to ask these guys to know how well they will address it as they vie for this op um, political um, positions. You know, I saw a video on Twitter and um, some, I think it was a Sean Wolu food project somewhere around um, Owaran Shoki. And those Owaran Shoki boys aren't smiling. And it just came out and they destroyed the canopy, everything. And they're saying, you know, it was a woman that was, you know, presiding the whole thing. And I think they would have beat her up if it was a man. So they probably just gave her that respect because she was a woman, but they had to scatter all the umbrellas and they kept shouting, we don't need any food this time around. No food. Don't give us food. You know, take your coolers. We're not hungry. I mean, these are like roadside people, you know, the regular thoughts and all. And for me, it's, it's a good light. It's a good information. I mean, of course, like Ruth said, we're beginning to come out from that learned. In fact, we're already in learned helplessness where you just get into that space um, they tell you we're going to fix the road we're going to give you electricity what well, you've heard that is not like cock and bull stuff and then you're beginning to now come out of learned helpless and say you know what i'm going to start you know doing something in my own space but it still boils down to what tolu would always keep saying i think um anything has also said that on the show is our values right um, when you say I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not after young people getting into power. It's not about young people, old people. It's about having the person with the right frame of mind. It, the person could be wow. sixty. I don't exactly. care, right? So, I mean, we all know that before you get into the polity, it takes a lot of hurdles to climb. I mean, I can't just get into the polity and say I'm, I'm vying for the president. I said I just want to joke around, right? So, it takes a lot of hurdle. And if we're going to get a chance at the seat that's supposedly we young people that believe that we can make a difference i think we we'll have to start like immediately you know getting involved at grassroots you know local level and this is me saying it openly i mean in in these coming elections i'm i'm probably going to i'm not running <laughs> you know, so, but i'm probably going to get involved more more often you know get attached to a party understand how it's done just get, get understand the process flow really i'm gonna get i mean i i reside in yabba so i'm just gonna involve in the whole yabba stuff understand what's going on there how are they getting the local government chairman what's the process asking questions that's like my first shot at just understanding what's happening maybe by next four years i'll get you know a bit deeper into it but i just want to understand how this thing works and that's my own way of saying i want to start paying attention to things like this uh, that's good for me i would say politics should not distract governance we need good governance to fix this problem so when they are talking about manifestos manifestos are not just sweet talk winners you're not we are not winners it's not a romance scene we are, we are not we're not here we need business so let's find how to get people that will approve principles of good governance to solve the problem all right we thank you for your attention Why the program lasted. We hoped our conversations resonated with you and that in some small way encouraged you to contribute to your immediate environment. Little drops of water, they say, makes a mighty ocean. Do not forget that the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Join us next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time. Bye.